we all enjoying ourselves? Okay, good. So, uh, you know, wine is part of our daily life also. When I was in Italy, we drink during lunchtime. Uh, it's not that people also for during a lunch uh, uh, working day. If you order a glass of wine, wine? Uh, there's no people behind you. No, no, no. We have a saying, in fact, in Italy, that uh, this scene is quite interesting and it's a photo of our relationship with wine. Very casual. The meal without wine is called breakfast. Okay? Obviously, we don't drink wine in bre during breakfast because, I mean, we are not Russian. Right. Anyway, so, second thing, you heard before the guitar man playing uh, That's Amore, no? Who is the singer of That's Amore? Dino Crocione. Okay, so we go now up again. We go to the north, close to France, eh? northwest, northwest, close to France. Our beloved French wine, uh, France, not French fries. It's called, uh, the wine is called Barbera, okay? Uh, Barbera, first of all, is a grape. We can find one of the few Italian international grapes. You can find in California, you can find in Australia, and uh, mainly by immigrants. Uh, Barbera is very extended as a cultivar, a cultivation. It's in all the northeast of, uh, northwest of Italy. But you can find also Barbera in Australia, in California. So it's great from the north. First of all, you see it's less intense uh, because it's a great from the north, less concentration. But, 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 it's higher in alcohol, this one. You look, you see. Smell, and of course at the end, okay? The best part is the drink. I spent six years in that area of my life uh, doing what? Of course, drinking. Unfortunately, uh, it's a dirty job, but someone else will think that I'm paid to drink and eat. I want you to describe this wine. It feels nice. It feels nice. Okay, it's smooth. Yes, it's very young. This is three years old, two years old, for this type of wine, it's a yeah. It will, this one, if you drink this wine in two, three years, it changes quite a lot, and it, it will improve. So what happens to the life of a wine? You have this cure, no? Very simple, like everything, like human. No, you go, you, you go small, you get up, and you go small again. There's no, nothing forever. Even a, a wine, even the best wine at the end, it's, it goes, now it gets spoiled. So the fact is you can also, the, the ability also to find the best moment when you can taste a wine, when it arrives at the top of the evolution. Because when a wine is in the bottle, it's bottled, it's not finished. It keeps changing also in the bottle. There's an evolution. In Italy, there is a wine bank. What does it mean? It doesn't mean that you go to the ATM, you put inside your car and you get to take out a, a bottle. No, there's the many uh, producer, wine producers all over uh, Italy, they stock this wine there, and then it doesn't become a museum, I said a bank. In a bank, it's not a museum of your money. You put, but you can take out. No? A museum, it goes inside and stays there forever. No. Many people, they ask me, how long it stays a bottle in the fridge after uh, opening. Forget, you open a bottle, you finish the bottle. <laughs> That's it. That is the best thing you can do. Okay, who wants tell me about this wine? A little bit on it. Ah, too bitter. Okay. Right. Too strong, maybe, no? Too strong, too strong yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. No, bitterness and strongness, yeah. uh, it goes uh, together. The Primitivo is more pleasing, in my opinion. It's more balanced, it's more elegant, smoother. But I want to say this wine for now is here. This has potential to get aged. All right, first, we are talking about how to preserve the wine. Don't keep your wine like this at all. Especially if you have cork, cork, cap, the cork. Because keeping like this, the cork gets dry, okay? Gets dried up, so it gets smaller. Okay, get smaller, so the air passes through. And you have this, well, the biggest enemy for a, a wine, oxidation. So you said that oxidation is bad for the wine. So what's the concept of airing out the wine before you consume it? Yeah, but oxidation means that 
slow process. And, then, and, then, and it's a defect of the wine. But also to add the wine, we want to add the wine to any wine. Even this one doesn't need. Okay? Because it's yeah. When you add, for example, the pretty thing you need to be added. First thing, the best thing to add the wine. Now there's this uh, one out. I see many very often to use the decanter. Okay? Yes. Now the decanter is the one that we have to use for the wine. Okay? The decanter. They're making just showing off. The decanter is wrong in the way. So the best thing here, not even opening the bottle like one hour before. It's completely useless because the surface cocktail, when you open the bottle, the bottle is like this at the end up. So the surface in contact with the air is like this. So the rest of the wine does again. The best is to pour and wait 5, 10, maximum 15 minutes. If you don't, if you are greedy, you want to, you don't want to wait, start to do like this. Okay? Do it like this. Of course, you can do also like this, but this is dangerous for sometimes. It's better to stay like that, to swear a lot. In this way, it's very, I mean, you have to, to get a bit of practice. But this one is very easy to do, actually. But you do this way, you swear, and guess, oxygen. Very fast. Okay, first of all, please give a big hand to the staff over there that helped us very much. Fantastic stories. Thank you very much. And uh, music. Thank you very much. Good night.